Good afternoon. Yes, it's camping day, and we've got the French tent out for its maiden voyage, the F2. Now, I didn't want people to think I'm going too French, so uh, I'm rocking the British MTP jacket, trousers, etc., etc., today, just to counterbalance that French feeling. Right, that's accommodation all set up. Let me show you inside what I've done and a discovery in a way. Right, first off my discovery, I've got my poncho liner in there as carpet as I normally do in tents. And it's the first time I've done it in here. The poncho liner is exactly the same size as the tent. It's like I've got fitted carpet wall to wall. Only a little thing, but it impressed me. We've got the normal Nemo sleep mat. I've got the flex tail pillow and the green slug sleeping bag. This hasn't been out for probably three or four years. I just, I don't know, I've got other bags. It is my sort of spare bag, but I do like it. So I thought it'd be nice to, to bring that out as well today, just for a change. Right, all the hard work's done. Beer o'clock. Cheers. Cheers, Marky. Cheers. <laughs> as you can see, Mark's here with his F2 tent as well. And we've just been comparing them. Um, there's not a lot of difference. We've got no idea what year either one was manufactured. The only things that I can notice differently, on mine, on these tie-outs, you can see they're designed to sort of come out square, where his are stitched at an angle and designed to come out sort of more traditionally, shall we say. But the, the major difference... His one came with an extra fly sheet. So this is completely separate to the, the main body of the tent under there. So you've got two layers over the top. Main, maybe, you know, due to the rain issues that a lot of people have, that was the manufacturer's answer. Just like an extra tarp over the top. But, uh, it's the first time I've seen one like that. I mean, it makes sense. If they did have a leaking issue, rather than recall all the ones they manufactured, they made a bit to go over the top. I might have to see if I can pick one of those up. I do like the idea of it. It's nice to see now everything starting to green up. I do like the springtime. Winter's okay, but the days are so short. Summer, obviously lovely in the sun, we have good weather, but it can get a bit hot and sticky. Spring, autumn, that's camping time for me. Love it.
blue skies. That's what we like to see. Okay, the stove is lit. And on the menu tonight, we have beef chili from the steak detective. First time having venison. I can tell you one thing, it uh it smells good. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? It's got that slight taste like liver does. Yeah, I can see that. Good. Good. Like Result. Mm. Right, time for the steak detective chili. Never, never had this one before, but I am a chili fan. Looks nice and thick. That's a good start. Hmm. Now wrong with that. Would recommend. Wouldn't recommend the fart for the lad, though. I think I can safely say that is the best packet chili I've had. I've had the Wayfarer ones, I've had the ordinary military ones, that sort of thing. And I'm not just saying it because you know, I know Steve. That is, honestly, the best chilli I've had of this type. Very good. Definitely would recommend. Right, it's getting a bit late on now. So I've made us both a hot chocolate. Probably the last bit of filming I'll do until bedtime. But uh, it's been a pleasant evening. It's dropping chilly now. Glad we've got a decent fire. But uh, mm. at least it's dry. That's the main thing. Cheers. Right, first night for years using the Euro Hike 300. Such a good bag. Oh, it was by my memory. We are see. See in the morning. Good morning. It's seven o'clock. Slept okay. Warm enough. And, interestingly, uh, 7 o'clock, I've been in here 9 hours. No condensation. I did have all the vents open. But, uh, yeah. No real condensation anywhere. Fabric feels cold to the touch, obviously, first thing in the morning. And it might be it might be slightly damp up near the apex. But not enough to make water droplets. Cool. Not bad at all. Good morning. Well, it's uh, a bit fresh, not too cold. Very misty, sort of damp morning. 
which surprises me even more that there was no condensation in that French tent. Well, none to speak of anyway. I'll say slightly damp to touch at the most. Not a bad morning though. I've got the kettle on. And I've just walked out of camp. Camp's over there about 100 feet away because Mark's still asleep. But uh, yeah, good night. Slept well. I'm looking forward to using that in the summer. It'll be a good summer tent, I think. And even if the waterproofing is an issue, you know, if we get bad weather, I can always bring a tarp stick over the top. I don't know whether I can be asked with seam sealing and all that. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll work on that at a later date. Time for coffee. Morning. Do you want the kettle on? Yeah. I've got enough walk road just to re bring to a ball for yours if you want. Well, I've got no condensation. No, I haven't. Maybe slightly damp to the touch, but nothing to speak of. Right, time to wander home. A uh, quick few thoughts about the French Army tent. Good space. I enjoyed the amount of space it's got. Uh, condensation wasn't a problem. Obviously waterproofing we don't know yet. Uh, one thing I did find very handy was having the doors both ends. Because I had sort of one door as my sort of main access. But when it was time to sort of pack stuff up and go to bed, I opened the door the opposite end just for poking in my rucksack and that sort of thing. Because I wanted it, you know, in the foot end out of the way. So, uh, yeah, quite practical really. If the, uh, the leaking issue isn't an issue, it'd be a good tent. I don't know. Time will tell. Anyway. Thanks for watching.